So I, like, I thought that was a good phrase. It's a human fact. I promise you repeats that. Um, so just to, you know, the mobile application that we built, it was, uh, you were able to register new beneficiaries, import existing beneficiaries into the system, that was uh, the 15,000 uh, records into each form. Uh, you were able to update the existing beneficiaries during a distribution event, and we had a system to condense that down into short SMS messages to send them back. Uh, built, built out the gateway and uh, the multilingual support. This is just a quick uh, flow of how we have the application built uh, interacting with the different systems. So you have the Android app. This is the actual phones that we took down to with us. They are Motorola Expert devices. They're business friendly phones. They uh, came out in June. Uh, just this past June, this particular model came out in June. It has a really good battery. I think it's supposed to be at least last for nine hours talk time uh, on that. And uh, it has physical keyboard, which is important. Out in the field, you can't be using a touch screen keyboard. And those are considerations we have to take into account for the hardware devices. And then a hard shell around it screen protectors and stuff. But they're off the shelf. If you wanted to do this with off the shelf with the equipment. Uh, that connected to a GPRS modem that's on the uh, server in Haiti to receive the incoming messages, text, connected to a front line for the uh, SMS gateway. The SMS gateway gets messages and then stores it. Uh, we have a little go-between app that writes it, takes it out of the front line and stores it in a local database. And then um, the Java-based data entry application is built to allow data entry staff in AD to verify the uh, incoming messages. So you don't want them to just randomly put in, like maybe you get a false registration of someone, fraud takes place. They want to manually have some verification step before it goes into their main central system. Uh, and then that sends it off to their Microsoft, existing Microsoft database. Like I said, this is just the login. Uh, the UI got registering new beneficiaries, uh, checking the messages, and uh, remember that. Oh, no, updating beneficiaries. So this, these are photographs that we took in June, uh, in Ju uh, July, at least, early July. Uh, this is a registration and training taking place at the same time. We took the devices out with us, uh, with nurses, um, uh, and that's a uh, UNICEF funded dispensary yeah. out in the rural area. Right next to that, there was a huge cell tower. <laughs> so reception is not a problem here, at this location anyway. Uh, you can see the ACDA worker vehicles in the foreground here, but uh, this is sort of the registration process where uh, a beneficiary, a pregnant lady or infant, they bring in, do an evaluation, they get a physical card, and uh, then they register them to the system. So they're using the phone there of the nurses, and they're registering them in some way. So to do a comparison, we had one nurse actually do it on paper and another do it on the phone. Uh, mind you, these nurses haven't really trained yet on using it, so they're not familiar with the device. But we had another uh, gentleman who was familiar with Blackberries, and he was able to do it like four times faster. Than, um, so they can, there's a lot of speed up factor once they get used to using that. Uh, this is an example of the, what the registration form looks like. Like I mentioned, this gives you an idea of what type of information you're trying to process and store in, uh, in that short coded text message.
So the other part of the program is the actual management of these distribution events. So to give you an idea of a distribution event, these are two sites that we did field tests at. Um, I was at Grand Cross here, uh, the distribution point there, we had, uh, we processed about 124 people in say around three hours or so, but we were doing training, we had about 10 nurses that we were training. At Mount Reol, uh, in the Belance area, they had teams, they had to process about 700 people that day, and another 300 or 400 the next day, you know, spread over two days, over a thousand beneficiaries. So you need a process that was efficient, and can get through the number of people. <laughs> So the way the system does distributions is you have a, it's administrative based. You have an administrator who sets it up, puts it in distribution mode. You, you can go in, you would uh, set, uh, specify that it's a distribution event, just you select the location and then hand over to the uh, nurse at the site when she starts entering as they come in, as they get processed, people come up, give their ID number, and then they process it and say, is this you, verify the information, we make an update to the, the person, is it, is there, was there a change, yes, no, but they're present, we got their food, and then uh, they process them and send, go on to the next. Uh, after the event's finished, you collect up that information and create a set of bulk messages. Uh, and then these messages are what you send off back to the server. So say a distribution event of, I believe a distribution event for about a thousand amounted to, uh, around, uh, amounted to around like 70 messages. So you compress that information down to mark text. And during the field trials we found that uh, using the system they were able to process about 100 to 120 beneficiaries an hour through typing them up. Uh, this is just a quick look at the numbers from the field. We had, uh, like I said, Marbury Hall, nearly a thousand people processed through, and in Bel uh, Beta Ranch, they have processed another 450 or so. Uh, Tioc was, uh, where I was in Grand Garcia, the uh, like I said, we had like 124 and a, a group of registrations. The color schemes not so good, but these are new registrations that we did. And then the Côte d'Affaire, we sent another team out to Côte d'Affaire at another location. They didn't have a distribution event. They just uh, did new registrations at that site, sent them back. So, uh, so in terms of if you're developing an application, <laughs> these are unforeseen problems that come up when you do development like this in, in the field. Uh, this particular example, these are issues we had in our model. So, testing in the US, applications we built out in the lab, good cell service, right? Uh, we have fast text messaging, you can use Google Voice for your tests, they're free, they comes free. Um, the model that we bought uh, was a high end, supposed to be fairly ruggedized model, worked out of the box in the lab, uh, and we had a highly technical set of users to work with in terms of the student developers and other members for testing. The went over to Haiti, poor service. Uh, we had issues with delayed messages. So you have a message that is sent and maybe it shows up half hour later or an hour later on the server. Uh, there were incompatibilities with the local service provider in Haiti. Our model that worked flawlessly with T-Mobile, -T AT&T cards here in the States did not work with Digicel. But it did work with one of the other competitors. So uh, I, I'll mention that was a, we were thinking on our feet, we, since we had it working with the, uh, the competitor's card, we ended up using, for the field test, we actually used a different service provider's card in the model for tests. Why we're doing that, they sent somebody to uh, the capital city who was away there and he picked up a local model from Digicel that we could use. That was a three hour drive. So they brought in a new model that we bought 
sourced globally to get this to have it working. And uh, the the other thing that you don't expect is you know users doing unexpected things with the devices. Um, I have a good anecdote that we had during training. I'll show you that. Um, the frontline, like you said, we use frontline to do the reading and the messages from the modems. Uh, we set up the database to store the messages uh, locally, linked it, um, and then the, that database that we used was queried by the data entry application that we built. And we set up acknowledgments from frontline back to the phone. Server side, we can set up just a Java application, uh, Java built application, display the messages as they come in for the data entry staff and we can verify them and then upload it to the central server. 